Morning everyone. It's about 8 o'clock in the morning and it's already warming up and I just wanted to show you some of the campground. This is dry camping with vault toilets. Where are we? We're at Bridger Bay on Antelope Island, about 20 miles from Salt Lake City. And this is the Great Salt Lake. When we were here in about 1991, the water came up to where you see the green. And that's how much it has evaporated. For those of you who don't know, the Great Salt Lake is the largest natural lake west of the Mississippi River. Thank goodness for the Mississippi River, huh? The lake is a remnant of prehistoric Lake Bonneville which covered more than 20,000 square miles during the last ice age. On an average, the Great Salt Lake is 75 miles long and 128 miles wide, covering 1,700 square miles. Water flows into the lake from four river drainages carrying 22 million tons of minerals into the lake each year. The Great Salt Lake has no outlet. Water leaves only through evaporation. Because of this, high concentration levels of minerals are left behind. The Great Salt Lake is anywhere from six to eight times as salty as the ocean. Salinity is too high to support fish and most other aquatic species. The only thing that lives here is brine shrimp and brine flies, making it a primary food source for migrating waterfowl. And I haven't been down to the lake yet this time, but the last time we were here, yeah, it had all this stuff in the lake, which it was the brine shrimp and the brine flies and it just looks so gross. I would not go in it. <laughs> 